Hey everyone, this is Virdilot here, and thank you for 800 subscribers. We finally passed that point. Maybe it wasn't the fastest uh, growth ever, but it's it's still growth, and I'm happy for it. And um, this is our first 800 sub or our first subscriber special. I don't know why I chose 800 over the, any other number, but this battle is against Sucker for Jessica or Kashif. If you don't know this guy, just uh, what are you doing with your life? Go to him, subscribe to him, watch his content. He posts some. Uh, um, Super Smash, which I don't watch a lot, but his Pokemon battles are brilliant. He always uses unique and weird assets. In uh, OU, he rarely does take like U battles or something. He always takes OU regardless of the tier of the Pokemon he chose. So you should go and check his channel out. Now, he agreed to take some of his uh, sweet busy time being a cop, I think, and decided to battle me for my 800 subscriber special. Uh, so I told him let's battle for my special tier battle cup and he agreed to that he prepared his team and he brought it So he starts with tranquil. I expected him to be physical. I don't know why I'm I just I'm not experienced with tranquil So I'm going to my semi uh, physical wall, which is the guard jump. He goes for air cutter gets a crit Which isn't the biggest deal. You'll see why I uh, goes into his crocodile after I realized that it was special I instantly switched into my paragon. I didn't expect this and right now there's a potential knockoff But uh, I don't mind getting knocked off if I can get off an electric ice beam on this thing, it could kill it because it's not it doesn't have the best special defense. But it goes into Rosilia, which speaking of special defense has amazing special defense. Um, so it's decided to switch out. I don't want to play around with it. And uh, go into my guard jump. Figuring if he wants to go for sleep powder, I do have sleep talk. And if he decides to go for sludge bomb, I resist that there's a chance maybe I could live to. So I I decide to go for rest here. And he decides to switch into his croc croc. Uh, as I go for my rest. And right now, literally no one touched the other. We did attack each other, but we both he synthesis, I used uh, rest, so uh, still no one touched the other person. I go into my Lex Slime, uh, predicting, I don't know, maybe Stealth Rocks. At this point, I don't know why, but I figured spikes were too obvious. Since he led with his uh, Tranquil, he obviously expected my spikes lead. So I went for Leech Seed instead, but actually he does go into his Rosalia and resist that. So I feel like that was a terrible play on my part. So I go into my Gabite, Fairly Holds On, which is named Fairly Holds On. It should be Fairly Holds On. So guys, I know I used this team twice and I said I would use the same team only uh, on, only two times, not more. But uh, I don't know. I, was, uh, I wasn't sure if my new team would hold up against Sucker for Jessica. Like, he's a really good player. I don't want to try something against him. If it's against my friend and I get destroyed, I'll be like, ah, okay. But I already tried this team and it's proven to be an okay or a good team. So... I go for sleep talk, I by bypass the intimidate as I get earthquake uh, crit, which sucks uh, sucks for him because I did bypass the intimidate, which will probably matter in my next kill. He goes for knockoff, I go for sleep talk, I do have a chance to get outrage or earthquake or rest, so uh, it's in our favor. We go for sleep talk and we get the earthquake as we kill this Krokorok finally. Um, so no more physical walls for him as he goes into his electabuzz. I figured since everything he has right now is special. Uh, I, why would I like preserve a Gabite? Also, I want to see if he's Scarf. I was 99% sure he's Scarf. I feel like Electabuzz is a, is a potential Scarf Pokemon. So I go into my Peter Peter because I know that he's most likely locked into HP Ice. It's still not confirmed, but I'm like I'm feeling it in my gut. So I just go for Flamethrower to get to get uh, some decent damage on his team. I do get I do go for Flamethrower. Uh, do around less than half, which is I think that's I don't know if this is a high roll or a low roll because if you as you can see the next flamethrower does kill, so it's either a super high roll or um, or the first one was a very low roll. It doesn't matter. The, what matters is that we managed to take the Rizzoli out, which will help us a lot. We get extra speed boost, so but he has the spikes and the toxic spikes on the field. Goes into much choke now. I have indoor baton pass. Weakness policy, flamethrower, and reversal. Uh, unfortunately, because uh, because toxic spikes are up, I can't endure against this thing. Uh, at this point, I decided to go into my uh, Staravia. I predicted him to switch, so I went for double edge because Electabuzz actually resists Brave Bird and most likely Scarf will outspeed me with Wall Switch, but he actually decides to stay in. And the reason I didn't go for Kadabra, because Kadabra most likely one shots this thing. First of all, he was assault vested by how good he took the flamethrower. If you didn't know the, my middle cup rules, you can't use Evil Light on. Uh, middle evolutions, only first evolutions. This is why I'm using Porygon, not Porygon 2. Uh, so I was afraid he'd go for Bullet Punch and just break my Sash, which is very important against his team. Goes back into his Electabuzz. I figured he'd want to Volt Switch and break my Sash. So I decided to switch out and go into my Lex Slime as he does go for the Volt Switch as expected. Now, Lex Slime isn't super useful because um, because all he has are special attackers, so 
even if he decides to predict and go for flamethrower, I, I, I don't lose a lot from that. Goes into his Tranquil, I don't want to switch out and let Porygon take unnecessary damage. As he goes for Air Cutter, um, okay, I, I'm ahead of myself. So he goes for, actually he goes for Tailwind, um, because I think this puts the pressure for me not to switch in Kadabra and just kill him with Psychic and preserve Porygon maybe. So just Air Cutter, make sure he's faster than Kadabra and I'm forced to switch in my Porygon to take some damage. Uh, so I lose some of my health as he goes into, I actually he goes for another Air Cutter and this Air Cutter just takes me out unfortunately. Now, if you don't know Nidorina or Nidorina, Nidor Nidorino, Nidorino, yes, Nidorino does not have sheer force, only hustle or uh, poison point, I think. So he goes for another air cutter, and air cutter doesn't do anything despite being a crit. I go for an analytic ice beam. This will surely take him out as he goes down to this attack, and then he goes into his Nidorino. I figured he might be physical or special. I wasn't entirely sure, but I wanted to stay in and just go for a try attack. I uh, could have switched into Kadabra, taken any hit because I'm Sash, but like, why would I risk it when I can kill this thing and then kill Kadabra? So I go for try attack, and unfortunately it doesn't take him out. I lose some of my health as he goes for Venishok again. No more Tailwind. Um, Venishok taking out my Porygon too, and right now I am I am in a good position. I can Psychic this thing and then Psychic uh, Electabuzz, and most likely win the game, but... Turns out his Venishok Nidorino is scarfed, which is a very good strategy. He sets up spikes and then goes for Venishok. If you don't know what Venishok does, in case you didn't know, it's base 65 poison move. And when you're poisoned, it's base 135 or 130. It doubles anyway, so uh, 130. So he is scarfed and he does go for Electro Ball and take me out with a very close one. Oh, I actually really, really enjoyed that. I was hoping that... Uh, uh, I was hoping that the battle would be this close, this is what I was looking for, so thank you everyone for the 800 subscribers and thank you Kashif for taking uh, some of your time to battle me, um, see, you, see you later next guy, blah, 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 blah. fuck what did I say, see you later guys, or see you next time guys, oh, okay shit, Help, hopefully everyone clicked out of the video by this time, see you later. <laughs>